All right, so yes, I'm back at it again, of course, in here for another video, and kind of a little quick video talking about a few things here, about a few topics that I've been really meaning to actually be able to talk about. So with the first topic, especially through uh, for this week, that's why John Cena is looking to take some time off uh, due to his elbow injury, and uh, he actually was able to wrestle at Summer Sim, so he did announce that he will be out most likely four to six months, so I would expect him to probably maybe come back, maybe around Night of Champions. Um, I kind of agree with what Simon said there too on Twitter, that he'll probably be on the uh, Night of Champions panel. Uh, I would expect something like that, or probably he would be here and there in between too as well. Uh, since he's kind of done that stuff before, so you know, uh, I wouldn't really say that he's going to be completely gone. Uh, even though, you know, he just basically stated that off, but the dude really does need to rest, and he does really wrestle, uh, throughout the year, uh, a lot, and he doesn't really hardly ever take time off, so he does deserve that, so, I'm uh, not really gonna go any further into that, but, you know, uh, it is what it is when it comes to that, so there you have it, John Cena takes some time off for, uh, four to six months, with that being said, uh, then getting into the next topic and actually going with TNA on this one. And recently, Brooke Hogan was the next person to be released out of the budget cut issue out of TNA. And they're getting kind of fucking ridiculous to me, honestly. Uh, even though it's not really any that much of a big loss for TNA. But, you know, it just seemed kind of random. I would have liked uh, for Brooke Hogan to actually finish the storyline with Bully Ray and everything. And since they had that going for them, but now that's just kind of basically ruined and we're not going to see that be finished so you know it's not really that much of a disappointing thing for me personally so you know it's not really going to affect TNA that much but you know uh, we'll see who's going to be uh, probably next to be cut I'm sure TNA is still looking to be uh, probably doing that so I wouldn't be surprised about that either uh, but you know we'll see what happens with that uh, as things uh, go on for uh, TNA on that note, so I just decided to talk about that. And as well, recently, of course, we uh, most of us uh, had already known about Darren Young being openly gay, and I have no problems with this whatsoever. It seems to be actually helping his career a lot more, and I'm very proud of him for being able to do that. So I have no problems with that at all. I think that's fine, uh, being able to show who he really is and how he's very proud of that, and he's willing to be able to go to the next level and actually uh, go that far and actually... Uh, announcing that and being very happy about it and he's been giving a lot of love uh, not only from uh, to his fans and everything but everybody is giving the love back to Darren Young and the primetime players are looking to be I think face uh, as of recently uh, as of Raw so I think that's cool I think that's going to be really fine for the primetime players maybe they'll eventually get the World Tag Team Championship since they never really got that shot at all and I think they could be uh, really great with that so I think that would be pretty uh, fucking awesome to see as uh, the primetime players being able to be World Tag Team Champions, so we'll see where that goes and everything, so, you know, could not be any more happier about Darren Young, and if you're gonna be a stupid ass and, you know, just hate on Darren Young, then I'm not gonna be bothered with it and just uh, block you, and uh, I don't have any time for that, so uh, there you have it with that. So just quick thoughts on what's been happening recently. Uh, I was thinking about doing it on In the Hot Seat, but I haven't really had the time to actually bring that around and everything, and I thought I would do this in the topic video, so let me know what you guys thought on what's been happening as of late, and until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.